maybe something that's not appropriate to talk about on here because it's uh, adulting. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to our, our video on whether I know Hillary or whether she knows me. We're in Palm Springs on our anniversary. We got this awesome tiny home in a fancy trailer park out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's a... We're gonna we're gonna do a little questionnaire of how who knows who, and I think that'd be fun for our anniversary. If it's eleven years, we got we for our tenth anniversary we hung out with, with our kids, <laughs> so we thought eleventh we'd take a trip away from the kids, which is not usual for us. But let me give you a little tour of this little tiny home. Coming through the door, and there's a little reading nook up there. Very nice laundry, Hillary. Oh, this is the chill zone. This is where we chill chill out, get cold. A little porch out here, and a little lake out there with some ducks and palm trees and all that kind of fun stuff. And then we come around this way, we got the bedroom. Oh, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. Destroyed it already. Bathroom, kitchen, more chill zone. Watch a bunch of episodes of Yellowstone on that TV and just hang out. So I thought these are good questions. They start easy and then they kind of get harder as they go. So uh, what is my full name? Brian Francis Cusco. Her full name is Hillary Elizabeth Cusco. Nailed it. When is my birthday? Her birthday, March 5th, 1986. Brian's birthday is August 21st, 1981. Nailed it. What am I insecure about? I don't know. I'm curious to see what she comes up with for that one. I'm not sure what I'm insecure about at this point. For her, I know some little red spots on her face. That's gotta be it. Oh, my aging skin. <laughs> His oh honey, Sorry. get out of here. <laughs> Brian's biggest insecurity is his hmm, maybe. What's your biggest insecurity? <laughs> I don't have one. She's got those little red spots. I think they're cute. She's insecure about them. What food do I hate? Hillary doesn't like almonds. She doesn't like almonds. She skips around them. It's probably not what she's gonna say though. I. I don't, like, I, hate, I don't like, I hate food, I guess I should say, that I don't know what it is. Brian hates matcha green tea ice cream. Green tea ice cream, haagen you really ruined ice cream with that flavor. What is my biggest pet peeve for me? <laughs> oh, messiness, yeah. People not using the passing lane for passing and sitting there blocking the rest of us, hate it. Or people not putting their shopping carts back in, at the grocery store. <laughs> Hillary's biggest pet peeve? I mean, I don't know if this is a pet peeve, but she really doesn't like when forks scrape on a plate. I'd say maybe like lack of critical thinking. People who chew their gum really loud. I think that probably bugs most of us. What is my favorite TV show? Naked and Afraid or Alone? I don't know that I have a favorite TV show. Right now, I guess I'm gonna say Yellowstone because we have been vegging out on it. Brian's favorite TV show? was at one point Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, 100%. Best TV show ever to hit the screen. What is something that always cheers me up when I'm sad? Puppy dog, kids, snuggles. My kids. What is something that always cheers Brian up when he's sad? Our kids and ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> What do we do on our first date? I don't know if she considers this our first date or not, but the first time that we actually hung out, went on a little date, she just like, just rode around Kailua on bikes and went and hung out at the beach. I think I was, I was actually wearing a tank top similar to this and she ended up stealing it from me. I believe our first date, we went hiking, hiking, beach, riding bikes around town. I think he would probably say the same thing. What is my biggest fear? She's probably most afraid of something happening to one of our kids. That's what I would think. Probably not being able to be there for my kids. Um, and I'd say his biggest fear is... What is my biggest fear? Pfft. I'm not afraid of anything. If I could travel anywhere, where would I go? If he could travel anywhere, where would he go? Maybe back to Ireland? Ireland, right now. I would probably go back to Thailand. Maybe back to Greece or Thailand. What are my long-term goals? Uh, long-term goals, that's funny. Uh, Hillary's long-term goals probably to raise our kids well, have a house, have a house that we own, and raise good kids. My long-term goals are to continue homeschooling our kids, um, to continue 
growing our ability for more self-sufficiency and community-based um, support as far as like food and resources go. And Brian's long-term goals are probably somewhat the same to be able to buy a home and um, live financially comfortably to grow his business and to grow in his um, spirituality. What are my main career goals? Doing it now. I'm doing it. To kind of more incorporate everything that he loves into one thing, which he's pretty much doing. Can, more of the same. Thank you. Hillary? Career goals? Hillary doesn't have career goals. Maybe she'd like to be a teacher someday. My main career goals. Well, considering that I work part-time and I'm a stay-at-home mom, my career goals mostly focus around just that continuing to homeschool and raise my kids the best that I can. What three things do I like most about you? Oh, I'm not gonna say, I can't speak for what she likes most about me, obviously, but uh, what I like most about Hillary are her sweet, loving, kind attitude, her realness. I mean, she's beautiful. I love that. It's a good perk. But I think I might supposed to be answer what does she like about me? She probably loves the fact that I am funny and make her laugh all the time and that I'm pretty smart, especially compared to her. <laughs> oh man. Come on, we can make it to 12. <laughs> Third thing that she would like about me, you know? Gosh, why are there so many weird random noises about here, out here? So the first I say the three things I like about you. Okay, <laughs> this one's confusing. Um, acceptance of people based on who they truly are, your intelligence, and seeing you as a father. Three things I think you most like about me, my compassion and empathy, me as a mother to our children, and how I like to do a bunch of different projects. <laughs> What is my favorite song or artist? Sublime Led Zeppelin song? Mm, it's hard to just pick one song, isn't it? It's tough. Pass. <laughs> what is my favorite song or artist? Ooh, ooh, wow. I don't know. How are you supposed to answer that? What if I don't have an answer? For what? My favorite song or artist. <laughs> what are my talents? I'm good with the camera. I'm good with music. I can play music. At least I think I can. What are Hillary's talents? She's really good at making things, like just creating things, like craft stuff. And what are my talents? I'm pretty active. I can play a lot of sports and dance, do yoga. I can juggle. I really think about my own talents. <laughs> I can birth humans. His talents would definitely be music, ability to retain information. What's my favorite smell? Oh, whiskey. <laughs> it's good smelling stuff, man. Uh, Hillary's favorite smell? Ooh, I'm smelling something nice right now. Smell of fresh cut wood. Ooh, I like that too. Um, her favorite smell? She really likes like candles. Weed smells really good. Dang, I suck. What's my favorite smell? Probably some sort of tropical flower, like a um, pukaki or gardenia. I mean, I do just love good old lavender. Um, Brian's favorite smell? I'm just thinking of all weird, gross things. <laughs> um, I don't know. Patchouli? <laughs> that might be more me. What are my favorite pastimes? Pastimes are weird. I like skateboarding, I like fishing. I like drinking whiskey, smoking cigars. That was past the time. Is that what they mean? Hillary's favorite pastimes? Camping? She likes camping. Like going to baseball games, watching baseball. Not that we do it a bunch, but yeah, let's go with that. What are my favorite pastimes? Um, mine are probably just like all the things that make childhood so rich. Um, being outside, riding bikes with the neighbors in the neighborhood, um, sports, dancing. Yeah. Um, for him, I would say when we say pastimes, how past are we thinking? What is one of my best childhood memories? Am I a dog or cat person? I'm a dog person. 
Brian is also a dog person, but he's had cats too. Am I a dog or cat person? Hillary's a dog person. Definitely a dog person. Because this goes right to the next question. Do I have any allergies? Hillary is allergic to cats. Do I have any allergies? Cats? I am allergic to nothing. <laughs> uh, does he have any allergies? Not that I'm aware of. If I could bring a famous person back to life, who would it be? I'd bring back Jimi Hendrix, man. I just want to do one jam and just shake his hand, something like that. And how about for Hillary's answer, we do Jesus. That sounds like a good one. It's probably not what she's going to pick. I'm going to say that Brian said Jesus. <laughs> what is something that I would never admit to anyone else? <laughs> I'm not going to admit to it here on camera. <laughs> that would be admitting it to somebody else. Hello? What is something that I would never admit to anyone else? Well, I, I can't admit that. And then I'd be telling everybody. Um, if I could be any animal, what would it be? It would definitely be like an ocean creature, maybe like a humpback whale or a sea turtle. If he could be any animal, it would be a lion. And... If I could be any animal, what would it be? Pfft. Lion. Hillary? She'd be like a, a mouse. Well, she probably thinks she'd be some kind of cat too. But I'm saying mouse. <laughs> should be fun, should be fun, should be fun, right. should be. Wanna say goodbye? Goodbye. Let's go get our children. Okay.